Hello everyone, great to have your company here on Calkine TV. I'm Rachel and you're watching The Buzzing Trends. Today we'll be looking at the three worst performers on the ASX last week. Now despite the ASX 200 ending in the green on Friday, the benchmark index mostly traded on a weak note last week and the benchmark fell 0.2%. Australian shares posted their first weekly drop in four weeks. Investors seem to have assessed the possibility of aggressive rate hikes to curb rapid inflation after the central bank flagged household debt. Australia's central bank warned borrowers and lenders that they needed to be prepared for a rise in interest rates that would lift mortgage repayments and could hit house prices. Now, investor concerns persisted over the prolonged Russia-Ukraine conflict and also a surge in COVID-19 cases in China, one of the biggest trading partners for Australia. So on this note, let's explore the three shares which are the worst performers on the ASX 200 last week. First on the list, we have AVZ Minerals. They're focused on mineral exploration. The company's key project is in the Manono Lithium and the Tin Project, located in the Dem Democratic Republic of the Congo in Africa. AVZ Minerals was the worst performing stock on the ASX 200 last week, recording a fall of 13.8%. The share price may have fallen because of profiting booking by investors after some major gains in the last few weeks. AVZ Minerals shares are trading at $1.11, down by 0.89% in morning trade. Second on the list is Linus Rare Earths, an Australian rare earth mining company. It has two major operations, a mining and concentration plant at Mount Weld in Western Australia and a refining facility at Kuantan in Malaysia. Linus Rare Earth shares have declined 10.9% in the last week. The stock has fallen in the past few days on account of weakness in battery material shares. Its shares were trading at $10.03, up by 1.52% as of this morning. And last on the list today is Platinum Asset Management, an Australian asset management company. This Australia-based investment manager specializes in managing international equities. Platinum Asset Management stock has declined 10.8% in the last week. The fall came last Friday after the company released its latest update on funds under management. According to the press release, its funds under management declined 7.9% or 1.7 billion US dollars in March to 19.44 billion. Platinum Asset Management shares were trading at $1.90, up by 0.26% this morning. Now we'll be back with our buzzing trend show tomorrow to share with you the latest market insights. Till then, stay tuned to Calkine TV for more stock, business and economy related hot trends. I'm Rachel signing off for now.